Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 87, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. We are sort of stranded on the moon of Dixon. We found the Mandalorian camp. We've amassed a few quests for them to earn some honor. And, um... Now we're about to head out into the jungle and complete the quests. And hopefully, eventually, maybe, possibly, if we're lucky, earn that honor that we were looking for. We got a couple of different paths we can go. Um, I keep forgetting that on stream you can't see the cursor. It, it boggles my mind why that never seems to work the way it, it should. So if you look at the, the direction my character's pointing... Uh, we can head to the east on the map, which would be my character's left. Or we can head to the west. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the left side first. I, I'm looking for a kitchen. There's a couple of people that'll get that little bit of an inside joke. All right. Um, hey, those are the guys that we needed for the parts. So, uh... Yeah, let's head up that way. Come here, you. I need to see if you have uh, some parts on you. Alright. I was in the middle of... Trying to... Search this guy. What's he got on him? Phase Pulse Conversion Converter Core. Hey, that is what we need, right? After getting one of the many Canucks in the jungle, you found Canucks, not Canucks. Uh, <laughs> you found a part of the Phase Pulse Converter. You don't know how many more pieces you. Oh, okay. Well, okay then. I apparently need more parts. Um, yeah, we'll keep going this way. Is, uh, oh, okay. So that's just going to head back. Let's, uh, is this one of those critters that we're supposed to be fighting? Wait a moment. Do you see that Boma over there? Mm-hmm. The force flows through even these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed, hmm. basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment, primal and unsophisticated. Okay. Yeah, what's the point of this? Probably is going to help. I feel it. They aren't like us at all. Let's go with I feel it. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. Opposable thumbs? You feel its consciousness. Oh. Yes. Like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety. Um Let's try beast control. Yeah. You came close. And you have potential. Hmm. With practice, you can make any animal passive and perfect. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many oh, okay. Violence Th this is basically the, the, the Knights of the Old Republic version of Calm Animal. Um, can anything else be done? With the Force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson for now. All right, so we've gained the power of beast trick, which basically lets us um, not stun it, but uh, make it neutral for a time, which is nice, but that's so not what I want to do. I want the XP. Your maximum force points have increased. Always nice. Yeah, man. Uh, 
Done. Nothing? Not even a little bit of leather? Like, surely there should be more to that guy. Okay. Oh. I, I guess I do have to go down this leg of the path anyway. Alright, let's, uh... See what these Canucks have. Yeah, you guys have that one. I'll take care of that one. Anything in this guy? No. What about this guy? Nope. Nothing. Alright, I want to head north first, because that goes into a dead end, and then... and then I'll tackle the south. Yeah. Oh. Anything? No? No loot? Alright. I thought... I thought... Didn't the... The guy did warn me that all these beasts were supposed to be, like, super dangerous, right? Only... Only one of the mighty, uh... Mandalorians could, you know, deal with beasts such as these. <laughs> um, <laughs> what you doing up there? Are you Kumis? I'm Kumis. Zargo is not wrong in thinking me dead. We assume that any Mandalorian who does not report back within a day has been taken by the jungle. I oh, that's fair. If I'm just in a difficult situation. Because you're hiding? <laughs> a Mandalorian asking for assistance? Isn't that amusing? Why should I help you? How can I help you? What are you doing? What are you doing up there? Was sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Okay. Zorka told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches if they exist. That's still not an explanation of how you got up there. This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished okay. seeing the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pets were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. Oh. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack. So I that up here, weaponless for Sounds like days. a personal problem. <laughs> Have you tried running? No, that, that that's probably not going to keep you a uh, Mandalorian for long. Still, though. You ran out of ammo? What kind of Mandalorian are you? What kind of Mandalorian runs out of ammo? So how can I help? You must have cleared a path to the beast coming here. If you take care of the Boma beast, I can make it to safety. I can give you an extra ammo cover. I'll go drive him out. What about a reward? Why should I help you? Yeah, I can give you an extra ammo clip. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure you're a Mandalorian? You got cornered by some rodents that aren't worth killing. Like, everybody admits that these guys are, are a pest and a nuisance, but they are are so beneath a Mandalorian's honor to kill. That you killed them, you broke your rifle over one after running out of ammo? Are you sure you're a Mandalorian? I thought you guys were supposed to be like, you know, Oh no, look out! It's a Mandalorian! Alright, um... Alright, I'll drive him off. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. More worthy than yours. Okay. Is this the, uh... Don't touch that button. It'll blow up all my charges. <laughs> <laughs> Sh 
Shall I do the evil thing and press, press the button anyway? No, no. I'm playing light side. I'll leave it alone then. Uh. So, where are the. Oh, there we go. I didn't mean to hit that many of them. Alright. You, uh... You can come down now, oh brave Mandalorian. Oh brave and mighty warrior. The, uh, nuisance beasts have been slain. Still up there? I'm grateful for your help, stranger. I'm returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I won't forget this. How about I not forgetting ammo? West. Please, don't mention this incident to anyone. No, seriously. I have no love for Mandalorians, but just letting him starve up there, I think you did the right thing. <laughs> Should have just let him starve up there. <laughs> He's just a veteran like us. He deserves a better death than that. Compassion had nothing to do with it. I had other... Re well... I had other reasons. The player. The character, however, is a much better person than I am. I'd have left him up there. No, I wouldn't have. Right, maybe someday he'll return the favor. Nah, he's just a veteran. He deserves a better death than that. I agree. There was enough senseless death back then to last a lifetime. Ooh, journal entry, XP, light side, and gained influence with him. Nice. All right. All right, let's press it. That's it. That's the, uh... Great Explosion? Isn't there supposed to be a, uh, weapons cache or something? I don't... I don't see a weapons cache. Okay. Well then. I thought there was more to it than that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I thought there was an actual uh, weapons cache there. I guess not. Onward and forward, then. As the brave Landalorian ran away. Let's go uh, take care of this guy here. This won't take long. This won't take long. Ah. <laughs> uh. And there are more of these guys, uh, or more of the guys that have uh, parts. No, because it's the Canucks. Canucks. Yeah, Come on. There we go. Nothing. Nothing. Gamma. Oh. Nothing? Not even a skin? Fine. Alright, what else we got? Surely something. I want to check out what's in the code first. This won't take long. Hmm. 
We got a level. We got a level. Stun it. Oh, good. One of these has a uh, phase pulse converter assembly. Okay, good. We got some more parts. Oh, let's uh, top off everybody's health real quick while we're at it. Oh, good thing I came back. There is a skeletal corpse just hanging out over here. With an immunity belt. Okay. At least there's that. But, um... I remember Knights of the Old Republic 1. There used to be a shortcut up here that would just show you the new stuff. I, I kind of... I missed that. That would have been nice. I don't know that I'd call this an immunity belt. I mean, it's damage resistance 5 against bludgeoning, energy, piercing, and slashing, and a plus 1 to con, but it... Hits your attack with a minus one. Uh, uh, eh. I'll take the strength and fortitude instead. Okay. I was hoping for something nicer than that, but okay. All right, there's got to be another one of those Canuck things. Oh, is this the fearsome beast? All right, this is the fearsome beast. Let's uh. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get a level up real quick. That's always useful, especially since we're bumping up attributes. Ooh. Uh, I'm tempted to put it in Constitution because I really do want to get that up to 18 now that I know that that's what it takes to get the uh, top level implants and stuff. Um, I wouldn't mind bumping up the strength a little bit more because uh, I'm doing all the lightsabery things and strength would be a good thing. Getting the decks a little bit higher wouldn't hurt either. Although, I think I was uh, I was trying to get the wisdom up because that will help with the force points, will save, and uh, the DC for all my Jedi stuff. So let's bump up the wisdom. And I'll have to see how many more ability bumps I'm going to get and plan those out from there. In, the, in which case I might dump them into either Strength or Constitution. Just depending on how many more points I'm going to get. Although we're at level 20 and I think it goes up to level 30. So that means I should, I know I'll get at least two more. Maybe a couple more. Alright, Treat Injury, Security, Persuade, and Computer Use. My Repair Stinks because it's not a class skill. Um, might as well put, a, put one in Stealth. Just in case. Okay. And what new powers am I going to get now? I could bump up my Beast Sense to Beast Confusion. Um, oh. I was going to skip it, but... Uh, beast Confusion is a more powerful version of Beast Control that can actually cause a hostile beast to fight for you. If the target fails, a will save of... With a DC of 5 plus the attacking character's level, wisdom modifier, and charisma modifier, then they will fight your opponents for 30 seconds. Only one beast can be affected by beast confusion at a time. This power only works on beasts. Sentience and droids are immune. You know, that's not a bad idea. I mean, I was really thinking about night speed just because that allows for an extra attack per round. Yeah, no, I'm probably going to use that a lot more. So let's, uh, yeah. There we go. We got our level. Let's do a quick save. And, um... Uh, Alright, we're 20 minutes in. This shouldn't take long. Famous last words. Let's go. Let's go kill the beastie. The sack egg is just up ahead. Together, we have a chance of defeating it. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have a plan? We go into the clearing and attack it. Either it <clears throat> dies or we do. Beasts okay. Of the jungle are fierce and powerful. Straightforward plan.
plans work the best. YOLO, Leroy. Well, I guess technically this isn't a Leroy Jenkins. I get support. Alright. What do you know about them? They're heavily armored. They aren't particularly agile, but if they connect, it can be deadly. But a skilled patrol of warriors can kill the beasts. Alright. Then, uh, let's attack then it now. Alright, let's, um... Do the force wave. You up some speed. Valor. Breath control is not going to help. And then a flurry. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was supposed to be hard or something. I must thank you for your help. We have killed the Zakek. I will leave the spoils of battle to you. Thank you. I did all the work. We'll tell them about deed here. Okay. All right. Let's look at the remains and get a Zakeg ear. That's the mighty trophy we choose? Okay. Ooh. Oh, hey! Well, I guess they won't be needing that. A quickness package. A strength adrenal. Some parts. 50 bucks. Hey, guys. We're, uh, we're, we're going to get some Arby's after this. What is the Star Wars equivalent of Arby's? I see the... Alright, I guess there's not a uh, thing to loot over there. But there is in this corpse. <laughs> Some poor schmuck lost his armor and 400 credits back here? Oh, poor guy. Nah. Alright, that's... Uh... I think that's it for the east side quest, right? Yeah, that's the whole map on the east side done. Let's get back to the center and then... Then I might call it an episode. Not a stream. The stream will go on. But uh, the episode will... will I just got a bad feeling that something's going to pop out at us on the way back. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time the game surprised us with something like that. Like, oh, you thought you were done? He's still mad and he's going to attack you. No? Oh, this is not... That's not... We took a wrong turn somewhere, guys. No, we didn't. There we go. It's the Mandalorians. Are you just going to heh me again or... uh? What about you? Did I not just earn some honor? Like, you know, I, I, I beat a bunch of guys in, in in the arena. I I just whooped up on the beast that you guys said only a Mandalorian can handle. If you head out into the jungle, stay alert. Our patrols keep the area clear mm -hmm. for more dangerous beasts. But a lot of the oh, Yeah, they're doing a really good job because I didn't find any dangerous beasts. All right, I'll be careful. All right, sweet. So um, if you're watching on YouTube, that's going to be it for this episode. The next one will pop up tomorrow. If you're watching on the live stream, hang tight because I still got a few more to go. So uh, let me insert the cut and we'll continue from there. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And 
If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.